Shalom. First, I want to give all praise with honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Yahakodash, the honor to the apostles of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the elect. Um, as you can see, all right, uh, you know, as brothers have already heard about it, about this, this whole quote unquote protest that's going on in uh, Paris. Okay, and um, you know, seeing all these things right here, okay, which is only a a a, a inkling or a glimpse or of what's to come because this this right here, you know, this is nothing compared to to what's really gonna be going on. All right, what's gonna be taking place very soon, especially here in Babylon. All right, aka America, the daughter of Babylon. All right, but this is all prophesied in the scriptures. All right, going into the sedition. All right, amongst men. So it says, night rage, furious yellow vest protesters turn Paris into war zone. All right, and the video, man, yo, that video is, I'm not going to play it because um, it might mess with the audio of the of the sound, and uh, I don't want that to happen. But, you know, just, you can search it up, you know, you'll see the video there. They're throwing, setting fires, you know what I mean, throwing, uh, 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 uh what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, it escapes my mind right now, but, you know, they just, they're, they're wreaking havoc. All right, and this is something that, you know what, it's only going to get worse and worse because, like the scriptures say, all right, let me get that real quick. We're not in a time of peace right now, okay? We're not in a time of peace. Um, all right, this is Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 1. To everything there is a season. And every and a time to every purpose under heaven, all right. So uh, basically, going into a balance, all right. There's a season for everything, even even snowing, summer, winter, all of that stuff. Those are different seasons. You have a season for everything, you know. It says a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted, all right. Showing you, there's a, you know, what I mean, everything has its, its 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 timely order, all right. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to break down and a time to build up. And right now, we're in the time of, of, of healing, all right, which is mainly going on by this word, all right. But, you know, Lord's will, Slash, yeah, Lord's will is going to go into the spiritual power and, and, and the physical healing of, you know, bringing people back from the dead and, and, and healing the lame and giving the sight back to the blind, all through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem El Shai. But it's also going to be a time to kill, and that time is, is vastly approaching, all right. Of mass killing all right so there's a time to break down and a time to build up all right and and we're, we're in that time of breaking down Esau's kingdom all right and building up the kingdom of heaven so it says a time to weep and a time to laugh <clears throat> a time to mourn and a time to dance a time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones together a time of embrace and a time of refrain from embracing see so there's a balance like like the saying goes uh, 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 too much of everything is bad all right, because you can't have too much of, of, of one thing, you know, in the sense of, for example, even too much water can give you what water, water poisoning or however they say it, you know, well, except for this truth, you know, we can never do enough of this truth, but just, just as the saying goes, all right, so I'm just trying to, there it is right here, uh, Ecclesiastes 3 and 8, a time to love and a time to hate, a time of war and a time of peace, and right now we're in that time of war, okay, and all the elder calamities and stuff that are, are about to befall the earth on a mass scale, all right, we're going into 2019 already, okay? Here it is. We literally just got into 2018, and the year's already gone, okay? And I, I also believe, man, that the Most High is going to turn things up next year, man, 2019. You know, who knows? It might be 2018 into 2019, but w whatever it may be, man, because we're, we're, we're approaching that time, all right? The, the microchip, the mark of the beast, is not something that's a, a faint, a, 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 a myth. Because you, you see it, you see it going on. FEMA ordering 50,000 tailor-made chips, all right? People already getting chipped in Sweden. The chip, the talk of the chip is out there, okay? All that's left is for the mandatory Im uh, uh, implementation of it. So going back to the article, it says, um, The night descending on Paris has brought no ease of tensions over fuel price hikes. See? This is over, this is over just fuel prices. So what, ha what, what do you think would happen if the economy collapsed? Or should I say, when the economy collapses in a place like America, you know, where Jake Jake depend on the system, they depend on 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 the benefits and and all that stuff. And yo, if they if they if they can't get that, what do you think they're gonna do? Here it is, they're riding in Paris over fuel or uh, fuel price hikes, 
All right, not even that they can't get fuel, but the prices is, is, is up. They're riding like this over it. So, so compare that to, to when all hell breaks loose and there's no order and there's total anarchy in these streets. He says, yellow vest protesters set more barricades ablaze, turning the French capital into a kind of war zone. The film scenes resembled street battles with rioters engaging in scuffles with police, which struggled to bring the situation under control. And there's going to be situ uh, 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 reasons like this and situations like this that they declare martial law. All right, they're calling them the the uh, the National Guard and all these uh, uh, different troops. All right, to come in there, they're not coming there with with, with batons and and riot shields. They coming there with guns, locked and loaded. Because it, when it gets to a certain level, all right, where they 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 quote unquote their lives are threatened, yo man, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be kill on sight. You either you either obey what they say or you get killed. It says the video shows brazen protesters setting barricades and tents on fire as well as uh, riot police using tear gas and water cannons to disperse the crowds. Real soon, it's going to be bullets. All right, People have been venting their anger for the past two weeks over rising fuel prices and a government-proposed uh, fuel tax, which is due to come into force in, in January 2019. All right, And not only is it things like this going on, man, but you got uh, economic uh, 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 turmoil going on, all right? This, this, the tensions between these different nations, all right, Russia and the U.S. and China and North Korea and, and, and Iran and all these, Israel, all of them, is, is all rising and rising and rising, all right, to the perfect boiling point where the Lord sets it all uh, on fire, okay? You have brothers having uh, uh, dreams of the kingdom, all right, of spiritual power, testimonies, all these different things are happening, man. But you have to be looking. You have to have the spiritual eyes to see, okay? But I'm going to get a quick precept here. This is... uh. Uh, Second Ezra chapter fifteen, which is a precept that, uh, 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 the this chapter is a chapter that we should be familiar with. You know, we we bring this out almost all the time. Okay, going into the destruction that's coming upon this place. All right, but uh, starting at uh, just verse fourteen, it says, "Woe to the world and them that dwell therein." Woe meaning destruction. All right, because the world right now have no clue what's coming to this place. You know, and some of them even if they do, they don't care. So the Lord said, "Woe, destruction unto you." All right, for the sword and their destruction draws nigh. Well, does it not say here, all right, let's get a precept for that real quick. Ezekiel chapter 21, verse 9. Son of man, prophesy and say, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, say a sword, a sword is sharpened and also furbished. It is sharpened to make a sword slaughter. It is furbished that it may glitter. Should we then make mirth? It contemneth the rod of my son as every tree. So this sword representing the, uh, the 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 calamities that are coming. All right, primarily Esau, Esau and his 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 uh his, his weaponry and his troops that are training and being becoming sharper and sharper and sharper. All right, the, what did the Lord say? He said, "Prophesy and say." All right, and that's what we're doing because this is a future prophecy. This is gonna happen. All right, we're gonna have yo this look, man. Where where was I? It says here, a sword for the sword and their destruction draweth nigh. All right, that's why it says, "Woe to the world and them that dwell therein." But here it is, we're prophesying it, but they don't, they don't care. They're not taking heed. All right, uh, just like they did before, man. Second Chronicles chapter thirty-six, verse fifteen, and the howl power of their fathers, who the Israelites, sent to them by his messengers, rising up b times, meaning rising up early. And sending because he had compassion on his people and on his dwelling place. But they mocked the messengers of the Most High and despised his words. And misused his prophets until the wrath of the Lord, or Yahweh, arose against his people till there was no remedy. And the Lord's wrath has arisen against his people right now, those that are now of the elect. And there's not the only remedy is death, destruction, and judgment. That's why the scripture said, woe, that's why Ezra said, woe to the world and them that dwell therein. Those that are not of the elect, woe onto them because he saw the destruction that's coming, you know, and he got scared. All right. I believe there's a precept where he says, uh, uh, woe is me, woe is me, who will deliver me in those days? Because that's how bad it was. It says, and one people shall stand up and fight against another and swords in their hands. And how shall I prophesy of this? All right. The race wars. Okay. The class wars. Swords representing a weapon. So it could be a gun, a chain, uh, a tear gas, a pipe, a brick, a stick, whatever it may be, a baseball bat. You know, it says, for there shall be sedition among men. 
Now, let's look at that word tradition. Let me just look it up here. It says here, uh, conduct or speech inciting people to rebel against the authority of a state or monarch. All right. So basically like a, a rebellion. All right. And that's and you see that going on here in Paris. OK, they haven't they, they haven't protest and they, it's basically sedition right there because they're not they're not. At, well, I was going to go into it over here, but they're not regarding their, their, their government. You know, it says for there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. All right, meaning they're going to be coming into people's houses, take running up, killing people, taking their stuff. All right, they shall not regard their kings nor princes. See, so they, they might tell you, yo, they, well, you, they might tell you, yo, you stay indoors, uh, there's a curfew, blah, blah, blah. They're not going to regard that, you know, because their mind is, look, man, I'm trying to survive, survival first. They, they're going crazy. Okay, so they're not gonna care what Trump is saying or what 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 may the mayor is saying and all of that stuff until they enact that that martial law and then they bring them troops to to bring restore quote unquote restore order by force. It says on the course of their actions shall stand in their power. See, and that's what that's what they're doing over here, setting things on fire and all that. They're doing that with their power, you know. They're not respecting the authorities. Well, it said it said here. Um, it says here engaging in scuffles with police see so they're not they're not regarding what the cops or anything are saying man it says um a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able because when they lock keep in mind when they lock things down they lock it down they shut it down you're not leaving the country you're not leaving the state you're not leaving where you are man you 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 you're locked there all right and whatever's going on in your city well if the lord ain't with you well you know what i mean you're done it says, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. All right? And that's what's going on now. The Lord said, what? Well, he's going to cause the, the the arrogancy of the proud to cease. Because you have a lot of people that are proud nowadays. They, they don't want to humble themselves and come to the Lord and repent. You know? Instead, they want to do what they want to do. Do as thou wilt. That's the spirit that a lot of Israelites are in. And that's why the Most High is going to bring them down, man. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor but shall destroy their houses with the sword, meaning the weapon, because you have people that they have in their closets, they got their, their shotguns, their, their automatics, all their guns, their assault rifles, and everything in there, whether it may be a bat, a sword, whatever they got. They're going to be going around with that, looking for people, looking for women to rape, looking for food to steal, people to kill, all of that. All right? It says, and spoil their goods, see? Because of the lack of bread, meaning food, and for great tribulation. So when they're put in a tough spot, like you, like you hear the saying, Desperate times call for desperate measures. Yeah, exactly. That's 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 the, gonna be the, the 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 main thing that's going on there. Okay. So I got this next one. This is Isaiah <clears throat> chapter thirteen verse eight. Because when all these things start coming to pass, all that talking is gonna be for naught. All right. People can talk, 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 talk till they're put in that that uh, predicament or that scenario, and then it's not. It's no more talking. Actions speak louder than words. You can say something, but if the Lord doesn't put the spirit on you to do something. You're going to be out here messed up. You're talking about, well, I took, I took 15 years of karate and jujitsu and taekwondo and all that. And then, you, you know what I mean? Here it is. The time comes and you, you shaking and quaking and, and pissing on yourself and all that. It says, and they shall be afraid. Pangs and sorrows shall take hold of them for all the things that are coming to pass, whether it may be all the things that they work for in their life, their, their jobs, their school, their family dying, whatever it may be, all that hell breaking loose is going to hit them all at once. And a lot of people are going to face that regret, all right, of wanting to have repented and, and have heard the Lord and taken, taken heed to the message, the warning, which we're giving out right now. They're going to they're gonna feel sorrowful for not, for not having uh, listened, all right? It says, uh, shall take hold of them. They shall be in pain as a woman that travaileth, all right? They shall be amazed one at another. Their faces shall be as flames. Uh, in pain as a woman that travaileth. You ever seen a woman giving birth, man? You you, you, you you should be able to tell how painful that is, man. And that's how that's 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 how bad it's gonna be that the Lord is comparing it, uh comparing how bad things are gonna get to a woman in travail. And they shall be amazed one at another, their faces shall be as flames. You know? How like a lot of Edomites, the so called Caucasians, when they get uh, 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 upset or surprised or scared, their face turns red, their blood rushes to their head. Yeah, just like that. Okay? So this is Jeremiah chapter thirty, verse four. 
And these are the words that the Lord Yahweh spake concerning Israel and concerning Judah. The reason it says those two is because if you read in the scriptures, at, at one point the kingdom was split, you know. So he had the kingdom of Judah and he had the kingdom of Israel, which consisted from, I believe, Ephraim on down to Issachar and then Judah was Judah, Benjamin, Levi. All right. So you had that split, but we're, they're still all one, our right, children of Israel. So it says, uh, for thus saith Yahweh, we have heard a voice of trembling, of fear and not of peace. So those are, those who are telling you right now things are going to be good and sweet and peaceful, they're lying to you. And that means the Lord did not send them. All right, because it's here, here it says, For thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, we have heard a voice of trembling and of fear and not of peace. And the reason you, you hear me keep saying Yahweh when, when, when this is here is because when you see the word Lord in all caps in, this, in the KJV, that the, 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 the name there is Yahweh in the Hebrew. All right, that's the name of the Most High, Yahweh. It's not God or none of that, all right? Because the word God in Hebrew is just Allah. It simply just means power, okay? It says, ask ye now and see whether a man doth travail with child. <laughs> and why is he saying that? Well, it says, wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins as a woman in travail? And all faces are turned into paleness. See, because there's going to be great fear and tribulation. That is going to be like men are going to, it's going to be as though men are giving birth. That's how much pain they're going to be in. So imagine a woman. It says, alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. And it's not going to be just a one day thing, man. It's going to be, yeah, man, we don't know how long it's going to be, but it's damn sure going to be longer than a day. All right. <clears throat> and the Most High is going to purge Israel, man. He's going to, he's going to bring that heavy judgment. But he shall be saved out of it. He represented the elect. Okay. And, 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 and for the women, like it says in the book of Timothy, all right, if you're with the man of the Lord, that's how you're going to be saved. Also going to Isaiah 4 and 1. So I get this last precept. This is uh, Micah chapter 5, verse 7. And the remnant of Jacob shall be in the midst of many people as a dew from Yahweh, as the showers upon the grass that tarrieth for no man, nor waiteth for the sons of men. Going into it, well, it's going gonna, it's gonna to say it. And, and the remnant of Jacob shall be amongst the Gentiles in the midst of many people as a lion among the beasts of the forest. As a lion, and like, like what, what's that saying? The, 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 uh, the lion is the king of the jungle. All right, it says, as a young lion among the flocks of sheep, who, if he go through, both treadeth down and teareth in pieces, and none can deliver so when the Lord rouses Judah up, man, and he starts, he, he puts that spirit upon the tribes to start going in, all right, in them race wars and the, the class wars and all that, man, they, the scriptures say they're going to be like a young lion, and these other nations, these Gentiles, these heathens are going to be like flocks of sheep, all right, who when a young lion goes through, he treads down, man, you put a young lion in the midst of, of, of sheep, what you think is going to happen? You All you're going to see is fur everywhere, man, because they, they, they're going to be getting busy, Okay. He's going to be getting busy, man, but that's that's what's coming. That's what's coming to this place, man. So this this sedition right here, what you see going on in Paris, that's nothing compared to what's really going to be taking place, all right, all over the world, but primarily in America. A lot of different hell and calamities are going to be taking place here in America, all right? Not just uprisings, but it's going to be much, much worse, man. Like the scriptures say, like I read in Jeremiah, man, it's going to be like a time like never before. Nothing you've read, nothing you've imagined, nothing you've seen before is going to compare to the times, the troubles, the tribulation, and the hell that's about to break loose here in America. But our people are not hearing it. So you know what? Hey, we're not bending over backwards. We're giving the message and we're keeping the pushing, man. Lord willing, we be of the elect that, that the Lord has mercy on, all right? He can give us that salvation and protect us and provide for us in that time, all right? So I hope this video was edifying unto the elect. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakhakudash. Until next time, Shalom.